بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم You can see it approaching as you get closer it gets bigger this massive pond with two long pipes feeding to it from a blessed river one a gleaming gold and the other a stunning silver your fingers lead the linger as your feet become limber the smell is the most beautiful smell that you have ever smelled sweeter than any must the world could ever sell whiter than any milk and sweeter than any honey ready to fulfill the rumbling in inside your tummy people all surround it making their way one by one you can see them in the distance like shadows under the sun some will come with limbs shining white from wudu like doves for a moment of relaxation after all the reckoning is done drinking all that they can drink until all their thirst is dry from vessels whose number is like the stars up in the sky hovering over its rim wishing you could just try A taste of this lake would surely leave you satisfied but before you can dive you catch a glimpse from your eye of a man standing nearby who you sort of recognize not really too tall nor standing too short loosely curled hair with splendid kneecaps and elbow joints not plump or chubby cheek the type of person you would love to meet reddish skin with dark black eyes and long eyelashes that peaked it is none other than Muhammad Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and you're standing by his feet the messenger of Allah the one whom you send blessings and peace who would have imagined this is the way that you would finally meet standing by the pond your heart nearly skips a beat so many things you want to say so little time to think he turns to you and smiles but before you can speak An angel swoops down and grabs a man from your vicinity one after the other they are snatched away and scream as the messenger pleads ummati ummati oh my lord my companions they are from me but the angels reply you have no knowledge of what they did after your leave they turned on their heels and apostated from this deen they never cared for ar rahman they only worship shayateen a man walks up to you and says let's go so you respond where to he says we are going to the fire by Allah and he is inviting you so into the fire they will make their way two by two and you will not see anybody safe from amongst them except a few this is the day of truth a day of no excuse a day when your deeds will speak for or against you بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إنا أعطيناك الكوثر فصل لربك وانحر إن شانئك هو الأبتر In the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful. Surely, we have granted you a river in paradise. Therefore, turn to your Lord in prayer and sacrifice. As for he who makes you angry, he will be cut off from future hope. And for the believers, they will gather around what is known as Al-Hawd, which is a blessed pond whose source comes from the river known as Al-Kawthar in Jannah. But amongst our nation, there will be people who before getting to drink from Al-Hawd will be snatched away screaming and pleading in front of the Messenger of Allah. Imagine, they have reached so close and were almost there. What was their crime, you might ask? Some of the scholars explain, these were the people who apostated from this deen or innovated something in the religion that went against the mainstream version of Islam. Finally, After the people have reached their reckoning and the judgment has concluded at the end of this long and excruciating day, it is now time for the last phase where people will be brought to the final place of gathering and given the glad tidings of their final home for eternity.